Tiffany. I was born and raised in San Francisco, but three years ago I moved to Davis for college. And now I study microbiology at UC Davis. I grew up in a family that casually went to church every weekend. So for as long as I can remember, I have always known of God. My mom abandoned her Buddhist faith and sought Jesus for healing of her anxiety, insomnia, and depression at a local Baptist church. And after becoming a Christian, she was healed of her sickness. This was the church that I grew up in. Since I was little, I was told by my Sunday school teachers that God was someone who I can talk to about anything, and He will be there to listen. But it was not until I was 10 years old when I realized how much I needed God in my life. During this time, I was bullied at school. But even though I was suffering, I did not even tell my parents about this because I was embarrassed by it. I would come home each day after school, and the only one I could turn to was God. He was the only one I could cry and pour my deepest sorrows to. At the time, I felt that He was the only one who understood me completely and loved me deeply no matter what. In the time when I felt that I had no one, He was the truest and dearest friend to me. Even though I could not physically sense God next to me, the comfort and joy that I felt after I prayed was evidence enough that He was always with me. In my early preteen years, my mom felt that the Baptist church that I grew up in led her faith to be stagnant and would not allow her to grow in her relationship with God. I was really eager to follow my mom as she began to seek for his abidance in other churches. I don't remember how many churches I had been to with her, but to me, they all seemed the same except for two of them one of which was a charismatic church that introduced me to the concept of the Holy Spirit. I remember seeing people to the right and to the left of me shaking uncontrollably as the pastor laid hands on them. I also really wanted to experience the same thing that was happening to the people around me, but it seemed that no matter how hard I prayed, I did not feel anything. So I began to think, that maybe God didn't love me and that He didn't choose me. I was frustrated because He saw how hard I prayed and how much I wanted the Holy Spirit, but He still didn't answer my prayers. I began to doubt if I would ever receive the Holy Spirit. And although I continued to physically attend church, my heart was far from God. My early experiences with God reaffirmed His existence but I felt like I was rejected by him. By the time I was in my first year of high school, I didn't feel the need to draw closer to God anymore. During this time, my mom was baptized for the second time in the Pentecostal church, but after receiving baptism, she felt like her sins were not washed away. So she began to ask the pastor about other churches that also believed in the one true God. He told her, True Jesus Church. This was really the wonderful working of God because years ago, a co-worker had mentioned this church to her and she called that co-worker to get in touch with TJC. She enjoyed studying the pamphlets sent to her by church members about their basic doctrines and she decided to go to the church shortly after. When my mom told me about another church that she had found yet again, I made excuses so that I didn't have to tag along with her. But every week after church, she would tell me about the doctrines and beliefs that were unique to the True Jesus Church. She was set on this church and she tried persistently to get me to come with her. So several months later, I decided to appease her and go. My first impression was that it was the most unique church by far that I had ever been to. Almost everybody in the congregation was praying in a way that was distinct from anything that I had ever heard before. In other churches, people who spoke in tongues just sounded like they were speaking in a made-up language. But the prayer in tongue that I heard in this church just sounded like it was beyond the realm of man-made language. It sounded almost like wind. I was fascinated with prayer in spirit and prayed urgently for it. But when I did not receive it after a period of time, I once again lost hope. 
I felt the same disappointment that I felt before, and consequently, I did not pray consistently for the next few months. I was very impatient and stubborn, and I think God must have had a hard time trying to teach me to be patient. I was extremely hesitant to get baptized because this was a huge decision, and I wasn't sure if I was ready to make this commitment to God and to a church that I still had lingering doubts about. The questions that I had were whether or not I had come to a church that would lead me to salvation, and whether or not I would receive the Holy Spirit. For a very long time, I thought that I wasn't anyone special, and that out of everyone on this earth, He would never choose me. But thanks to the love of the brothers and sisters who led Truth Seeking class, and encouraged me to keep praying, I prayed with more faith that I would receive it. After praying about baptism, the Lord answered my questions. At the end of a Friday night evening service, we all knelt down to pray. As I repeated the word hallelujah, it became increasingly difficult for me to say it, and suddenly my tongue started to roll. I knew right away that I had received the Holy Spirit. I was filled with joy and love from God, and I felt as if the warmth and joy in my heart had come all the way up to my throat. It was as if God was telling me that He had me wait to receive the Holy Spirit so that He could give me His perfect and whole salvation. I realized after reflecting on this moment that He answered all of the questions that I had in my heart. Before, I had questioned whether or not TJC was the true church, the church that can lead me to salvation. And even though no words were spoken to me, everything was very clear. Yes, He wanted me to be baptized in this church. Yes, He led me to the true church. And yes, He loves me and He chose me. I can't stress enough how perfect God's timing is. Before I came to TJC, my faith was really built off of my mom's faith. She was my spiritual pillar. I was never compelled to look for a church on my own or to actively seek the truth. Two years after coming to this church, receiving the Holy Spirit, and getting baptized, I was off to college. I no longer had my mom with me, and it was during this new transition in my life that I had to decide for myself whether or not to keep attending church. Thinking back, I realized that God knew that I would need Him during this new stage in my life. God wanted me to rely on Him. When I missed my family, when I felt empty, when school felt overwhelming, I knew I had God with me. I would pray and He would listen. I would go to church every Sabbath, and it felt like it was home. Even when I am currently pursuing a science major that should in theory have caused me to depart from my faith, I believe that I still remain in church to this day because of the Holy Spirit that the Lord has given me. I am preserved by Him. Nobody can tell me that what I believe in is not real, that He is not real and is not an active part of my life. Before I came to TJC, and before having received the Holy Spirit, I felt unhappy quite often, though I hid it from everyone very well. There was not a major event or reason that triggered this feeling, but I think it was due to an accumulation of pent-up frustration, anger, and loneliness that had built up over the years. I only ever poured out my distraught feelings periodically behind closed doors to God in prayer and tears. But even then, I felt like I could not express all of my thoughts and feelings. But after receiving the Holy Spirit, I now gain peace and comfort when I kneel down to pray. Even though I myself don't understand the tongue that I pray to God with, the Holy Spirit knows exactly how to pray and intercede for us. It has been five years since I have been baptized in the True Jesus Church. My mom and I have been to many churches. But what convinces us that TJC is the true church are the doctrines the church is built upon and the abidance of the Holy Spirit. His timing assured that I would end up coming to the true Jesus church later on in my life, where I would receive the Holy Spirit that He has promised. This reassures me that in the future, when I don't understand why something is happening to me, I will continue to trust in His plan for me because He has proven to me before that He is faithful.